Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 Stage Racer, episode number 83. We're right here towards the end of La Vuelta. It's stage 18. And really, this comes down to one punchy climb right at the end. But the the triple set of climbs here will certainly thin the field out. And knowing my team, I'll probably be alone by the time we hit the final climb. This first little Category 3, I don't know if there's going to be enough in that one and actually a good amount of recovery after. You would expect that the full field will probably make it to this point, and it'll be these two climbs where we begin to thin the field out. So uh, plan to pick it up just before we come up uh, that Category 3. All right, I'm at full strength. Most of my team is recovered. Barbara was the one offering protection and nearly got dropped before the top. He hasn't recovered at all, but he at least made it through that climb. Uh, and surprisingly, the peloton actually has shrunk a little bit. So there has been occasion for uh, teammates to be dropped, and they've managed to, to not get dropped yet. Of course, Barrow is about to change that, but it's a good sign. It's a really good sign. Could this be my day? I, mm, not counting on much here. Not banking on much. Uh, Durbridge goes out the back at full strength without the peloton seeing some significant break or anything. Hepburn also dropped without even being tired. One more climb to go until we have a nice long drawn out uh, phase before we actually get to the actual final climb of the day. And Smith and Janssen's look like they're not gonna make it. 47 left in the peloton. 39 riders. And I'm all alone. 29 now at least. I would expect a few will come back, make contact. In fact, there's already two. Smith down. At least it wasn't. Wow, so a lot of guys caught up in that crash. Still have nine riders off the front from the original break. Now seven. Minute and a half. That's going to be a difficult catch. Minute. 12 and a half kilometers left in the stage. 35 of us chasing the seven of them. As it comes within a minute, I think our chances of catching them is now pretty good. All right, we're going to up this. 9.7K. The final climb is 17.6% max. Average is nine. It's six kilometers in length. That's a pretty hefty climb, and most of it comes right down to the end. So the end is where we need to attack, not early in that climb. We want to attack uh, near the top, and we want to kind of just hold our position as best we can. So we approach the climb. Six K to go, and we're onto the climb. And there's the break. And Higita is attacking already, but Ineos, Landa, chasing. Yates. Okay, Landa didn't chase, Landa attacked. It's all together now. Hagita at the front. 4.4k. Yates, very Landa is now actually giving chase instead of... But he's not really giving chase, I think he's just chasing me. Jack Haig. 3.5. Three kilometers. Just trying to get slowly up into the right position. 2.5k. It's not that far to go now. So you really can't afford to just sit back. Okay, we're going to go into that steepest section here. 25 left. 1.7k. This is going to be all about pace. 1.4k. I think we can do about a 92 for that long. 1k, caught up to Higita, 700 meters, to the front, 500 meters, that's oh, really steep in here, 300 meters, 99, and sprint, little separation, stage win, 
Gains 17 seconds on Froome. Hagita finishes third. Landa, Chikone, Izagira, McNulty seventh. Soler. McNulty continues to lose little bits of time. Barrier and Adam Yates. Simon Yates. So I'll have a small gain on this one. And in terms of energy, that worked out quite well. I was just able to outpace them up the climb. Steady. Didn't go too early, didn't go too hard, but also didn't let myself slip back too far. So I did just enough to, to gradually keep a, a decent position near the front of the group. And then slowly just paced my way through those front riders and, and to the front. The and then just a little acceleration at the end to win by about six, seven bike lengths, which is enough for about 15 seconds. 13, okay. 13 seconds to Froome, 21 to Higita and others. 5.09 behind Froome now. Uh, the problem with this at another stage like this, if I do the exact same thing, chipping away, it's not the kind of gains you need. It's good. It's a win. I'll take it. I'm happy. And we're a minute and a half clear of Higita now, which uh, because he is under 25, Technically, I'm not sure how he's in the classification at 25, but okay. Uh, it's He's still the one that I need to ride against. Uh, Froome, is, it's just too far away. It really is. And Froome moves into the lead on the points classification. I move into a tie with the previous leader. But at 19 points behind, it's going to be really hard to uh, catch him in these final stages. 12 points, I leveled up. Okay. 3%. Manager satisfaction. They're still... It's still annoying that they're so mad. I win a stage, and I'm second overall. <sighs> Nothing but a skill point on the next level 2. You figured level 30 would have something. Okay, skill point wise, uh, there's just not much left to go for. Never even had a chance to use that. Maybe the charisma going into next season. Hey, personality branch. There you go, we finished a branch. And now it's going to take us forever to get to that level 30, and it's not even going to come with attributes. Thought it was kind of tied to the landmark ones. So stage 19 is essentially the same thing we just went through. Same length, it's 6 kilometers, but the average a bit lower, the max much lower. It's going to be harder to get away and gain anything on this stage. Chase has already been going at it pretty hard, the breakaway here scene. 19 riders, and they had a pretty good gap. We've cut it down to 220, but as we go through the climb ourselves, you can see the damage being done. I mean, even I'm a little bit tired with protection, and there's quite a few riders out the back, which I really thought we'd get to the final climb on this one with most of the peloton still in check as it's a fairly flat stage throughout. You'd almost call it a sprint stage, it's just that we finish with those last handful of kilometers going uphill and that's that by default makes it a punchy stage because the sprinters aren't going to win that. Uh, but the sprinters, most of them really should still be there. This is, right now, the steepest climb of the day at 6%. Or one of the steepest points worth of climbing for the day. And somehow, four of my teammates have already gone out the back. Actually, we're down to a peloton of 40 riders. That little uphill section 
dropped us to 40 riders. Okay, well, it's back to 89 for now. Breakaway still has 18 of the original 19. They've lost one rider. Uh, their gap down to a minute and a half, and they are starting to split up this time. But it very much does look that I'm going to be riding uh, solo towards the end of this stage. As we go back down to 28 riders again, I'm once again all alone. Just seven riders left in front of us. Minute 40 to the front one, though. So the front, the front few guys are kind of hanging on. Uh, but as they thin out more and more, it's going to be harder for them to stay away. Less cooperation and more fatigue, clearly, as they drop off one by one. So we go over the penultimate at least categorize climb, but we do have this uphill, slight downhill before we go into the final one. I'm fresh. 32 riders, I'm sure a lot of guys around me are not, but the ones who matter are probably doing just fine. Looks like we're about to pull back a couple more riders. We are thinning out further and further here. Just four riders left away. There's the top. Little bit of undulation here. And then a short descent. And then we'll go into that final climb. Still a minute 40. And we get an attack from Carapaz. Carapaz, not in contention. Higita, really the only one I'm worried about. Uh, McNulty, I think, is a little too far back to, to really challenge in any way. So 8.3 kilometers now to go. Five riders out in front. It's going to be really hard to take the stage away from those guys unless they're totally exhausted. See the climb ahead of us. It just ramps up more and more, but it's pretty gentle. We're not going that high from where we're at right now. As much as I'd love to just attack because there's really no pace in... In the peloton, yeah, we've it's jumped out to a minute 56. Uh, but if I attack now, they're just going to pursue. But there's a group right there, and it's not going to hurt me. Let's see if I could just bridge this gap and get to these guys. Attack by Rohan Dennis. Get to these guys. Sit up for a second. There we go. Oh, and 37 riders catch me, just like that, meaning it did me absolutely no good. Down to 3.5K. This one's going to be so hard to get away on, and there's just not enough steepness to it. Here's the steepest section right now. And we still have two riders away. Two K to go. Okay, I need to get a little further up now. Look, Hagita being let out. Froome being let out. This is why I just cannot win this race. We're down to 12. It is thinning. 1k to go. One rider left in front of us. 300 meters. He's a Gira. We're going to catch him. <laughs> Who's going to catch him, though? Oh, we're not going to catch him. This <laughs> Gorka is a Gira. Hangs on. Chris Froome and I and Higita and everybody's still right here. Nobody could get away from each other. Like I said, that was still very much like a sprint, but it wasn't won by the sprinters just because it was uphill. Podium on the stage. Nothing gained, nothing lost. One big climbing stage to go, and there's definitely not going to be five minutes in it. So, no, I will not be winning, but uh, maybe, just maybe, we can keep our second place, and uh, I wouldn't even say maybe, just maybe, I think there's a very good chance that we'll keep our second place. The team has expected me to win nearly every single stage of the 20 so far. We're on the penultimate climb. 
the final climb, well, the breakaway group has a six minute lead at this point. And it looks like the stage is kind of given up. So what I really need to do is I need to get Barbaro and Hepburn up here. I don't know if they're going to last, but we'll see if we can get them up here. And Jansen's, you need to get uh, follow. And let's see if we can get just a little bit of life out of you guys. A little bit of chase. Because if there's no pressure here, the Enios Riders are going to be completely fresh for the final climb, which is going to give me zero chance of riding away. Yeah. Hepburn, that failed. <laughs> Jansen's, uh, yeah, no, that's failed. At the top of the climb, gap's now seven and a half minutes. I'm fresh at least, but all I can really hope for at this point is to stay in the group and the the one worrying thing though is I noticed there's some really big names like Dubon, Carapaz, Lopez, Moss, Martinez, uh, Kamna, I mean huge group and then Pino and Micah off the front. Those guys are seven minutes ahead. Are they all 12 minutes behind me? Well I know that fifth place down Starts at about 11 or 12 minutes back, so okay, we should be okay, maybe. <laughs> Peloton 41 riders getting started here. I'm going to pick this up just slightly, but I'm not looking to go anywhere. I'm going to stay around as long as I can. Just Smith is about to slide out the back. Are going through a very tough portion with percentages above 10%. Attacking it's very attacking. attacking. For Vecchi, now chasing for Sunweb. Right now we're doing a pace that's not hurting me at all so this is good but we begin to see the next Chicone, Perrier, Haig, Reichenbach. I don't need to go until Hagita goes but what I need to do is not slip back too far so we will speed up a little bit 6k to go and this is the real climb the whole climb is 12 kilometers, 10%, but really, it's this 6% where, or the last 6K, where this is mostly 18, 19, 20 kilometers. Uh, 20%, sorry. Gradient. Sivakov, Kwiatkowski, working to pull guys back. Gap's already down to 5 minutes. Peloton's still 46 riders, though. I mean, they're, they're working, but they're not pulling that fast. This is really steep though, so it's going to do damage quick. Yates attacks again. Down to 33 riders now. 448. Pulled back another half minute. Out of 26 riders now. Three point eight. It is very steep right now. Pulls. Last teammate for Froome. He's gone, we can attack. Uh, 
Poles attacking and Froom is the one going. 2.4. Now it's time to use my gel. Gently pulling him back. 2k to go. Alright. Point nine. Alright, he is full on attacking. Attack with the finishing line within reach. I've left everyone behind. I'm riding solo here. One point four. Gel's kicked in. One kilometer. Nine hundred meters. A solo victory for Mashka. Micah takes the sage. Six hundred meters. Lopez takes second, Carapaz third, Rivera, Toynes, I'll get seventh on the stage, Bowman, and I do gain time. There's Froome, though. Gaining a ton of time on everybody else. Gained less than a minute on Froome. But I don't even win the stage because the breakaway was too far away. So I only get 7th on the stage, so the team's not going to be happy about that. They're not going to be happy on the time gains for everyone else because all they care about is the GC. They really need to develop how they, how they analyze that because if I gain a minute on all the other contenders and finish first among the contenders, even though I don't win the stage, okay, it's not the same as winning the stage and doing all that, but it's better than taking second on a stage with no time gains at all. It's not the same as winning a stage. Winning a stage has a, a whole different feel to it. I didn't gain a minute. I gained not even 30 seconds. I gained a ton of time on everybody else, but I gained 30 seconds on Froom is all. So I do control my way through the final few stages. Next stage is nothing. Uh, we'll speed right to the end of it. 445 is the gap overall. Now, Hagita is almost five minutes behind, so I shut down Hagita today. Uh, McNulty over 10 minutes back. Yates is fifth. Barrier, Gagenhart, Landa, Soler, and Ciccone are your top 10. Half of those guys were in the breakaway every day, even at this late stage of the race. Uh, Demoulin was in the break Carapaz in the break, and those guys are way, way out of this. I mean, I'm the only one who was remotely close to Froome, and I really wasn't remotely close. Ineos was just crazy, crazy strong in this race. 20 points separate us. I'm not going to get 20 points on the on the final stage, uh, nor will Damar uh, gain, you know, 50 points. So Froome's going to win that as well. Mike has got the KOM locked up. I do now have the under 25 locked up. And not just because we head into the final stage, but because there's no climbing left to do. Uh, and I opened that gap up significantly. As a team, we are 18th. Might as well be 80th in that classification. As I got no help in this race whatsoever. In all honesty, I am impressed that I managed to get second place considering that I had no team support and Froome had nothing but support. I mean, that final climb, right? He went through four riders and he had protection, at least at the base of it. Guys just doing the chase pace making i mean that that's team idios right there that that is what they do in the 
Grand Tours. No surprise. But what we normally see as we head into the final stage, 96 kilometers, I believe we're in Madrid for this one. Uh, what they normally do, that team, that team we saw, those riders here, those guys are what you see at the Tour de France. Now, they do not take a big step backwards when it comes to La Vuelta or the Giro. They don't go for a B team. But they definitely don't go for their A team, usually. There's a couple guys of kind of their B quality mixed in. And there wasn't any of that here. I mean, this this was an A-team Ineos squad here at La Vuelta. They, they came to win this thing, and they crushed it. Again, team classification. We are 18th. Team classification. They were first by a country mile. All right. We speed up as best we can as... I wish, I wish there was an option to set this to first 50k. Doesn't stop, right? Because there's a checkbox in your options where it goes back to times one speed when there's events. I wish you could set first 50k to not do that. Right, you just want to stay away. You just let them go, let them attack over and over again. It's not gonna hurt me, it's not gonna affect me. It's later in the stage when somebody attacks that I wanna know it. That feature's been in the game for two years now. And in general, I like it. Start of the stage, it's annoying as hell. Three riders in the right gazelle. It's the final stage. Big acceleration here. Let's get ourselves capable of staying with anything. 30 kilometers to go. I mean, going pretty flat out here the rest of the way. And it's last stage. There's no climb to do. Let's just make sure we stay near the front and cruise on home. 20k to go. Anybody want to knock Froome off his bike like a gust of wind? I feel bad for him, for what happened. That was at, uh, uh, was that Perry Nice? I know it was in preparation for, for the two. Oh, my goodness. 1K to go. How did that happen? Man, that was a fast stage. <laughs> Oh, the sprinters already went off and sprinted. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Delmar crushes it. He won like every sprint in this race. Anyway, uh, was that Paradis, right? Preparing for the time trial and just riding the log, took his hands off the handlebar and a gust of wind hits him and shoves him right off into the wall. In the building beside the road. Just looking forward to seeing him come back and and then all this chaos happens. We're starting to see a lot of other uh, racing classes. Uh, Emerge into you know i racing and, and NASCAR and ARCA and you know all getting together and doing virtual uh, races on various platforms. I think we have reached a point where it's time to see cycling, and for them, right, you have the benefit of they can be on a stationary bike, and there's already platforms for them to to race head-to-head -head 
on those. Uh, we, we need to start getting some content related to that for recycling, definitely. Uh, I have seen GCN just posting a couple things in the last couple days that seem to be steps in that direction, but not necessarily that, not, not the pro riders, right? It's not Froome back on a bike racing against Quintana and Pino and De Moulin and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so poor evaluation because we finished second on the podium, right? We get third in the points classification, wah, 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 and we win the young rider classification, wah, wah, wah. We come out of this with less manager satisfaction than we started. I think we started at 99. We finished the race at 94. Uh, we gained 31 points. That's better than nothing. But to me, that that's just it's a bit infuriating. We take second in the race, and my team that gave me no support whatsoever is angry about that. Why do you think I'm leaving the team? Hmm? Think it might have something something to do with the lack of support. So we now have four jerseys in the trophy cabinet hanging up next to our trophies. So we've made progress this year. Things are good, sort of. Season's right about done. We've got the World Championships left, so next episode we'll definitely be wrapping up the season. Most of the races, uh, I'm I'm done writing for Mitchelton Scott. Last year was worse, but this, these last two Grand Tours, the, the team has given me nothing, at least at the Tour de France. They expected nothing but here they expected me to win without any support you're not gonna win a grand tour without support period uh well okay on easy or normal mode maybe normal mode maybe but you're not gonna win on hard you're not gonna win on very hard it's it is essentially impossible to beat a team of riders stage in stage out every stage we had that fitness peak late and it made a difference right if i had that the whole race mm, i don't think it would have made that much of a difference on to the rankings right into the strongest team next year can't wait cannot wait for it <laughs> Uh, that is enough to put us back on top of the World Tour rankings. Froome jumps into ninth place with that victory. And I already lead the Super Prestige. I'm up by 800 points. I think that's going to be safe unless Bernal wins the World Championships and I'm not placing. Uh, I think there's not enough points out there that... For him to challenge me at this stage in the season, middle of September with a month to go. Uh, so I don't think I'm under any sort of threat on the lead in the Super Prestige points this season. So, hooray. And it looks like I might top 900 for the Gaming Decathlon, which would be 4,500 points. But I definitely don't think I'm going to get to 1,000, which is 5,000 points. Even if I win the World Championships, we're not going to get that far. But we are leading with 22 victories on the year. And that's despite largely going without support throughout the season. There's been times where they stepped up and offered me a decent amount of support. Times. But it's been very inconsistent. Last season, barring Marita nothing so I'm, I'm so much happier with Mitchelton Scott than I was but next season 
I'm going to be surrounded by talented writers, and I am absolutely spending uh, my my points. Where is it? Yeah, there you go. I have 875 points saved up. So can't wait for that next season. Happy Catholic Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. Or not. If you're not happy. If you think I should have won it. If you think I could have overcome. Especially being on the hard difficulty. If I could have overcome Froome in that race. Let me know in the comments. I mean, I, I know I get feedback periodically like. Oh, you could have won this stage. Oh, you could have won that stage if you only did this or if you only did that. I'm certainly not flawless in my style. Not flawless, but I'm certainly not bad. And I've made a couple mistakes here and there that might have cost me a minute or two. Or maybe more. You know, maybe I did cost myself the victory. But honestly, I, I don't think without any support. Right. The whole race. I had zero times where we got to the end, where we got to that last climb, and I had a teammate left. Not once. Not once. So, what am I to do, right? I'm riding solo, and he's got three, four, five guys left every time. Anyway, have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.